Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I'm back here with another video. So today what we have here is a 30,001 model PS2. Now the issue with this one, well it's got a couple which uh, I'm still working on, but the biggest glaring one is it does not read discs. So um, I'm very familiar with the 30,001 model. It's the one that I have. I have a, a launch model, which is a little different than this model, but um, they have the same laser and it's infamous for discrete errors. So in my time working on these consoles, I've run into some mixed, uh, mixed things on the internet about the different PS2 lasers and whether they work or not. So this one has a KHS 400B laser and um, they're known for discrete errors, they're known for burning out. There's class action lawsuit, all sorts of things, but that's for another video. Um, so what I have here is I have the disk drive from my donor console, and what this has is a 400C laser. It's a later one, a revision to the 400B. And it's supposed to be a little more reliable. But, like I was saying, i um, been hearing some mixed things on the internet, whether they work or not interchangeably so today is more of an experiment than the repair so I'm gonna take this laser put it in here and see if it works so come along and let's find this out first things first we gotta move the disc tray out of the way turn it on and it's also got kind of a sticky disc tray so I'm gonna be working on that but okay and next we gotta remove these two screws to get these rails out. So I'm an amateur, <laughs> you do not need to remove that rail. You can if you want, I mean, I recommend it anyway, because then it's just easier to, just makes it easier to clean. I mean, it still gets dirty and grimy, so. But to take the laser out, no you do not. And right, we're gonna actually put this back in there, so I don't lose that rail. need this ribbon cable. Put that in the parts bin. Alright, so we're ready to put the new laser in. Well, new to this one. <laughs> so I did clean up here where the plastic goes onto the worm drive. And then I also cleaned in here. It was a little dirty, so just want to make sure that that's clean. I'll make sure that that's open. Good. Sorry about the glare on this TV. I really don't like this thing, but hey, it was like $4 at Goodwill and it works, who cares? All right, let's take this thing for a shake. I should put the uh, cover back on. <laughs> All right.
Alright, let's see. We start off with a silver back. Yep, there it goes. And I'll do a blue back. I'd say probably not, but I think it has more to do with the laser being bad than this experiment failing. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> well, I'm glad I stood corrected on that. <laughs> so yeah, there's the proof right there. You absolutely can use a 400C laser in a, in a PS2 that has a 400B in it. It'll work just fine. Actually, it probably would work better. They're a little bit more of a reliable laser. So... Yeah, if you like this video, um, please give this video a thumbs up. That would definitely help me out a lot on this channel. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed, please uh, subscribe uh, so you can see further videos. I got some other stuff on the way. I just got a, an Xbox in, so I'm going to be doing a clock capacitor video on that one. I've also got a GameCube that's getting uh, torn down and cleaned. Um, so that's something we'll look forward to. to. And... Um, Got some even other video, even other videos that aren't video game related. I'm gonna be doing so. Um, please subscribe so you don't miss any of that. And if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below in the comment section. Um, as always, thank you again, and have a good one.